Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at computing the work done by this um, vector field as we move from this point to this point where this vector field is thought of as a force field. First of all, we'd like to consider whether or not we have a potential function. Now, we don't necessarily have to do a curl check, but we'll do this just for instructional purposes. Let's think about the curl and, I, and actually see that the curl is zero. A quick way to do this is just try to figure out all the ways that we could have a dx and a dy together in, a, in, in our wedge if we just took d of the component with, in this particular case, this will be wedge with the dx. Well, notice you'll have a dy and a dz. You will get something, but it's out of order, so that'll contribute a negative one. The only other way of doing it is having a dx here with the dy, which will be a positive one. Checks out. That's equal to zero for that component. Now we do a z and x. All the ways of getting a z and x together, right here, you have a dz and a dx. That's the right order. Um, the other time will be right here, dx. Um, you have a dx and a dz, which is the wrong order. So you have one and minus one, which is again, zero. Check on that one. Okay, for y and z, what are all the ways of wedging to get a, um, a pairing a y and a z together? Um, let's see, they're right here. You'd get a 2dz two, uh, two wedge dy coming from this guy. And from over here, we'd get a 2y dy wedge dz. And notice, again, these are opposite orientations with a, oh, and that's a 2, sorry, after we take a derivative that's a 2, not a 2y. So um, um, that ends up getting opposite again. So you get, uh, you get negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. So check south. So curl check. Yes, we should be guaranteed to have a potential function. Now, in general, we don't really have to do a curl check. That was just instructional. So we can see when the curl is equal to 0, or you call it the, diff, the exterior derivative or whatever you want to set, call it of the um, differential of the differential one form represented by this um, vector field. Um, so if that's equal to zero, we're guaranteed a potential function. Let's find a potential function. How do we do it? Well, we think this is um, going to, we're going to be looking for some function f. Um, in this particular case, let's just let it be f x, x y. Z. Let's just try to find some potential function. This is going to be like our fx, that's going to be like our fy, and that's going to be like our fz. Hmm. Okay, so how do we find f then? Well, let's just take an, an antiderivative with respect to x in this first component. That might even give most all of it to us. Um, antiderivative with respect to x would give us xy plus xz. Um, and then maybe plus some constant, but we'll just be minimal here right now. All right. So next, we look at this guy. If we take the energy with respect to y, do we get any new terms? Well, this guy kind of gives us the same term. The 2z gives us a new term. So we just tack it on. Plus 2zy. Then we go over here and notice that we don't get anything new. So this is our potential function. Now, if we can just do this and notice that, um, that uh, and just double check that the antiderivatives with respect to all of these actually get, give us this um, same thing where plus a constant with respect to that particular variable, then we know that we found a gradient and we're good. Um, we can, and we can check it back. Um, Notice that um, when you take an antiderivative with respect to z, you end up getting this um, only. But then the plus xy over here, that's kind of like a constant with respect to z. So as long as you always get that idea going, you're sure that we got a potential function. You could even just take this and, and just check it back, and you know we found a potential function. And, there, and one exists even. So how do we find the integral then? that goes from this point to that point. And it doesn't matter what path we're using because we found a potential function. So really, we just it just depends on the points. 
really over any, any path at all. This is just going to simply be our potential function with 111 plugged in, which if you plug in 111 to, to this, we end up just getting four. You plug in zero, you just get zero. So it's four. Um, now, of course, we could apply units to this. Maybe this is like um, uh, pounds of pounds of force, and maybe this is like feet. And so you could. Uh, what we just computed was uh, pound feet, four pound feet of of work in this particular case. Thanks for watching.